Hi, I'm Jenna Bradshaw. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we talk about all things health, fitness, and wellness, and how you can optimize your life and live a very blissful, happy, healthy life. So today I wanted to touch on the topic of relationships because when we neglect our relationships, it really does hinder how we show up on a day-to-day basis and how we show up as ourselves. And usually with relationships, most of the time, it stems from our childhood and how we grew up and how we had different relationships with our coaches, our teachers, our siblings, our parents, our grandparents, and how we show up in life. And really, the perspective of how you view your relationships is how others also view you. And in turn, that can either positively or negatively impact your health. So that's why I kind of wanted to touch on this topic, because I've just been noticing a theme for individuals who really struggle in this department. So this would also be considered one of our seven gems um, through our po- Erica and I, our podcast, Girls to Queens. And we really made sure that one of the seven gems was relationships because it really dictates the quality of your life. And so, you know, I really want to hop on here and kind of discuss like how you can kind of take a step back and think to yourself, okay, how can I improve my relationships with other people that I interact with and how I show up? And one thing that really stuck out to me And I learned this also through one of my mentors is really on a soul to soul level. And so when you can view somebody else on a soul level and think to yourself, okay, like, what are they trying to teach me? And what am I trying to teach them? And what kind of soul contract do we have? That's when things can really change and you can really learn for the better. And once I started doing this with my relationships, they totally improved and I felt lighter and happier. And I'm not saying that it's an easy game because it's not. It actually is really, really challenging because there are people in your lives that are meant to just like literally trigger you. There are people in your lives that are meant to help you step up to the next level by triggering you. And also there are certain relationships that you might realize that this really isn't serving me anymore and I have to step away. However, it doesn't mean that you have to cut them out or be super abrupt with it. You just do your own work. You just do your own inner work and you literally realize, okay, like what is this person trying to teach me and what am I trying to teach them? And you can have like a sense of uh, aha moment and a clarity moment. And with that, you can analyze how you show up and think, oh, okay, maybe like I could have been doing this differently and I'm going to show up, you know, better the next time around. And uh, these are the things that are very important. And although it may seem small and we do take advantage of relationships because we literally interact with people on a day-to-day basis, like every second of every day. So it's really important to take this into consideration and just, I would say the best way to go about it is just view the relationship on a soul to soul level. And once I started doing that, it was a huge game changer. And, you know, whether it be a partner or your spouse or your siblings or your coaches or your teachers, it will play a difference in how you show up, but also the quality of your life, which in turn will either negatively or positively impact your health because that's on an energy level. And if you're not feeling good about certain relationships and you're feeling resistance, it's really probably not worth keeping that or withholding that and not saying not to communicate, but just be cautious and just be weary and think to yourself, okay, like how do I actually feel about this relationship? It's just like dating. If you feel resistance against a person and you're like, "Mm, not really feeling this, but then you force yourself to date this person. I mean, that's turmoil and resentment waiting to happen. And those two feelings cause health problems. So that is my overall point to this little 
TED Talk <laughs> on relationships. And I hope you can view them in a different light. And I hope this helps. Again, you can also check out a ton of our episodes on Girls to Queens podcast where we do talk about this. And it is one of our seven gems of mastery. I hope this helps. And this was a quick video today, but I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you found this helpful. Until next time. Bye.